welcome everybody. Thanks for uh, joining us for the uh, second edition or episode of the new member Q&A via Zoom. I'm just filling in briefly until Betsy can join us. We can go ahead and um, bring up your, is it your father's profile, Jerry? Yes. Okay. Um, let me share my screen. Oh, Genghis Khan discussion. And so what's his profile ID? Oh, I never thought of that. It's I just okay. had him up and I lost him. It's okay. I, I'll tell was... you in a second. Okay. No hurry. No rush. I love your orange. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Ooh. Um, it's very wiki tree. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I got I got the thing up, but I don't know the number. It it says copy ID for the Where's the number? Oh, the you can actually upper... find that underneath their primary information. Like there's going to okay. be a, a last name with a dash and a number should be hiding uh, within that area. Uh, like it, it, your your name would come up as profile manager and then it should be like right next to that. Oh, oh no. It just says Harold 22 to 1997. Um, In the address bar? Or the URL where the yes, it may be up there too. Yeah, at the end of the URL, it should okay. have an ID. I'm, I'm just gonna make a big screen so I can see it. Um, it's a uh, Hopkins H O P K I N S uh huh 19598 dash 19598. Okay, there we go. We're looking That's for a different option earlier. I'm gonna find myself. <laughs> Hopkins. Oh, great. There's some uh, maintenance categories attached to this already. Well, they need to be created. Oh, what yeah. does that mean? Um, I don't know. I'm on Harold Hopkins. Is that right? Saskatchewan? Yeah. I've got your profile, your dad's profile up. I'm sharing it on the screen on the Zoom okay. call. Yeah, you, you are the it? profile manager. Yeah. Okay. Um, What I needed to know was I have, um, I'm just blanket out here. I dissociate when I get nervous. So um, that means I can just blank out, not really know what I'm doing. So I'm just getting something here. I'm just trying to relax and take a breath. No just worries. Sure. Oh, nice. Oh. Um, it's for one of my, it's for their marriage. I have the marriage document. But okay. um, I just got so much information, like the BT Kyle, it's number 345, and they're not linking or anything. They're not working, whatever I've, whatever, I don't know if the computer did this or what it did, but it's much easier to see than when I had it. But um, yeah. marriage, um, my mom and dad um, were married. The date, I just want to know what do I need in the marriage instead of the denom denomination Catholic? Um, should I even be put in that? Or um, because it was important in my dad's file, I saw he's united. And uh, I don't know um, if he went Catholic. And I don't imagine that because my mom said he didn't believe in um, God. Which we do, but sorry if so, I'm talking wrong. But... No worries. It looks like the um, biography just will fix the ref tag here. It looks like it's just taking into the whole paragraph about the marriage. So the text, in addition to the record. So, do you can you point to it or? Yeah, so Are see you? right here this this ref tag, the opening ref tag mm. right here, Reference. and then the closing. Yeah. I don't right so here. I must be on a wrong page or something. Oh, I no, that's a box. It's I'm on that different colored ones. Are you seeing Azure screen right now? I guess I'm not. Can you go to the bottom of the screen and click on okay, the Zoom? Okay, thank you, thank yeah. you. Okay. Yeah, I'm not dissociating anymore. I think I've come back and relaxed. Thank you, guys. No worries. 
Okay, so here's the statement you have for the, the marriage. Harold Hopkins and Grace Peters were married on 15th of August, 1949 in Ontario, Canada. So that looks like what you want in the actual biography, right? The line that you want for the biography? I think so. Okay, so I'm just going to take out here the before and after uh, opening um, and closing ref tags. Okay. Um, so we can make it look more like a... And I'm just going to move this down into, because I think this is where you're trying to say what the source is. The marriage license plate number 3142. I wrote Bessie a letter. I'm sure she didn't get it. She's busy. So I just panicked and said, what can I do with this? And I, it was a couple of days ago. I, I don't know if she answered me or not. I can't remember. But okay. Yeah. So okay. I'm just, we're, we're I'm just adjusting it now just pulling it up. So it's all together there. Um, so let's see what that looks like. So I, I made a few changes there to that uh, paragraph. That's okay. And if we scroll down here and click the preview button, it should show us what that'll look like now. Okay, so down here, here's the statement about the marriage now is visible on the page. Do you see that? And then, oh, your, yes. and then your citations, oh, wow. your inline citations are there, ready to go. Oh, very good. Oh okay. my gosh. How did you do that? Oh my gosh. Just, uh, it's, it's just it's that it had around, yeah, the, the inline reference tags that were yes. there at the beginning and end of the statement for the biography. It was oh, making it look like it, right. So it was making it look like another reference instead of the, the statement that you wanted in the biography. So I just took those out. Is there a way to tell me, I don't know if anybody else is speaking. Go um, yeah, go ahead. You're fine. Nobody else I'm, is speaking. I'm just wondering if there's a way to tell me what the source is and what the citation is. I know I sound stupid, but I don't know. So I've tried it for months to try to learn it and I've done everything, but I just can't remember. Yeah. Um, so these that's, what these, that's what these numbers are here. The three, four, and five. They They're click down. The, yeah. The, if you click on it, it takes you down to where the source is. And what is a source? A source. A citation. Well, this it's a source citation. It's, it's. You're citing your source where so you like got the information. Oh, yeah, so where you got the information. Okay. Right. So uh, if you have a marriage certificate, then you would say where you found that marriage certificate. It down to the, the page in the book, if it was in a book. So, you know, you want to, the, there's a really great page on the help for sources. If you just go up here to the upper right hand corner. Mm -hmm. And then go down to sources. And it gives some really great examples. So it talks about what a source is. And then it gives you some great examples of the different types of sources that there are. So a book, periodical, web page, family Bible, census, church record, lots of different types of sources and how to cite them. If you find it at home, is that what it's showing you? Like if you had a church record or a Bible, is that what that does? Like I can't focus t enough to keep that in my mind. If I just have a yes, disability just now this. since my son died. No, so. it's no, no problem. So I'm just going to send you the link to this page, the help sources page. Uh, I actually refer to it quite often myself. So it, it's um, definitely something to keep uh Keep uh, on your frequently used links if you have a page of those. So I'm just, trying to make that and I can't do it either. So okay, <laughs> <laughs> well it's it's great because it's just right here on the help and then sources. So it's oh. it's an easy one to find because it's always on that help menu for you. Okay, that's good to know. But so it, it gives you an example of what a church re record citation might look like. So you can kind of use that as a framework for setting one up for yourself.
if you have a church record. Like a template, that is. That's what yeah. that is, right? Yeah. Uh-huh. Yep. And that goes to the bottom where sources are. Yeah. Is that right? Okay. That's right. And yeah. then you take the biography from what that says. And you write a little sentence. Is that yeah, you can you can write up your biography from then from your sources. Okay. Uh the other question is in the like I've got by the you don't need the the like it, it's Catholic. You don't need the the people that stood for my mom and dad and the witnesses yeah you can yeah. put that all into the citation or you, you can it's do both. both you can put it into um if you'd like to make mention of the people who are witnesses of the baptism or birth, uh, marriage you can put that in the biography and the citation it's okay i mean i always try to add as much information as i can to the citation so <laughs> so, so it's okay it, yeah, okay. so other people can come along after you then and look at what you've put and prove to themselves that that is that's what that's showing. And so also, Steve has also if I can add just one cent to that, uh, it's good to have that information available because sometimes those might be relatives to the person that you're dealing with, and if you're trying to find ancestors to them, those people might be the the you know the cousins. Those people might be the shared ancestry. Uh, oh. So it's it's always helpful to provide yeah as much information as possible. Uh, you know when when you're going for a source, especially if you're not going to come back to that source for a very long time, because a lot of people like they they dump it, they drop the information, they move on to the next thing, but they might not get into the details that are actually important to filling out the uh, the character or the history of the person. You know, make them feel like a real person instead of just a a bunch of numbers or stats. Oh, she's back. So, yes, she is. Yes, Betsy's here. Thank Yay. you. So here's Betsy, and Betsy is here now, yeah. live from <laughs> South Bend. Yeah, that's right. I, I thank you. Thank With you so much. And time Both changes. You. <laughs> You're we busy. Just help, we just helped Jerry uh, with uh, one of her people. Fantastic. Was this was this your dad's profile, Jerry? Yes. Yes. Okay. All right, Azure ahead. took out the references. There was references around the uh, up sentence. in the top biography. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And she made a sentence that it made sense instead of what was there. So to me. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. Yes. Well, um, yeah. The information itself was the citation. So we basically took the ref tags out yeah. and it became the text. Yes. So, so then the citation was the information underneath it. Right. I saw I saw that when I looked at it earlier today. And um, do we have any luck find, finding the birth record? I know. I didn't get into that. Oh. All right. Well, I'm going to leave yes. you guys. It was great okay. chatting with you. Azure, thank, thank you. Thank you, Azure. Yeah, you're welcome. Have Very a great good. evening. You too. Bye. Um, yeah, I, I noticed that you did have a picture on there, Jerry, of the birth record um, or like a you yes uh, evidence that you had found it on a site. Yes, it was allowed to be. Yeah, it was yeah. E-Health Saskatchewan. Uh -huh. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So it looks like that, um, that might require us to make a manual citation instead of using Sourcer. So yes. Yeah, that that might be a little more complicated beyond the scope of, t you know, tonight's discussion, but I can help you with that. Just to oh, thank you. Yeah. Remember, um, a, a source citation really just has to say where the information is from. So the, the title of the collection um, and then anything like a, a, a volume number or a page number. Oh, you know that it's it's similar to you know writing references in a term paper that we did back in high school. Um, yeah, but I do remember thinking that when I found it, but the, you couldn't go back to find out the beginning of the like the book or anything that I could see on e, e help. But thank you. Yes, I would accept that. Please. <laughs> help it when you have time yes yeah now it could yeah if you found it online then um we might just use the name of the website as yes. like 
the book title. So, oh, yeah. Okay. So, um, like I said, I'll 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 dig into it, um, when I Thank have you. a little time. Sure, sure. Do we want to potentially take a profile tour as an example? You know, of maybe a well-sided uh, profile might spark spark a little more interest or. Uh, uh, what's the word I'm trying to think of? Uh, inspiration, you know, spark inspiration. Yeah, yeah. Well, I I just want to before that's a good idea. But before we do that, yeah, of course. Do you have any any questions that people are wondering about? And nothing is too basic. Um, Matt, okay. is, Matt, yeah. Um, I I was directed to this site from somewhere else. I've been doing genealogy on and off for a few years. Right. Uh, and uh, recently got into DNA, and it was Diane Souther that sent me this way. Mm. I, now I'm here, I don't know what to do with it. I'm not really sure how I can use this resource, or even if it's for me. It looks like it's all professional genealogists, but I'm not really sure how this can help me. Can you fill me in on what the whole point of WikiTree is? Oh, okay. <laughs> <That's> a, <laughs> that, if that isn't too basic. I don't know what is. <laughs> <laughs> no. So let me let me start by asking Jim, have you already uploaded your DNA to GEDmatch? No. Ah, okay. So let let me um share Is that a some... requirement? Yes, no. you, you do not upload your DNA to WikiTree. Um it, you upload it to a third party site like GEDmatch, and then you take your GEDmatch number, and then that is what's referenced on WikiTree. Um, let, let me, um, let okay. me pull up the page. So, cause it's always easier when you look at an example. Um, so WikiTree does involve DNA then. I didn't even know that much. Well, we do, we do. Um, I think it'll all be, be clear when we look at it. Um, do you all see WikiTree's homepage? Yes. Mm -hmm. right. And um, so here's my profile. Uh, I've done my DNA tests that I've done our um, ancestry autosomal, and then I did uh, mitochondrial uh, testing at uh, MitoDNA. Um, and so what you'll see, I'm gonna, oh dear, move you guys oh, down. Right, uh, so your mitochondrial is through family tree DNA, and oh, then you right. you ported it over to Mito Y DNA, the the third that's party right. site, correct? Yes, yes. Exactly. Okay, I just thought that's that's what you meant. Yeah. So that's the other one that's not the autosomal DNA, Jim. Uh, if you have a, a mitochondrial or a Y DNA, Y DNA being the male variety of it, uh, yeah. Mito Y DNA dot com is where that data would so be linked. Let's start with Jim. Okay, yeah, I do have y. I do have Y as well. I got the big Y myself. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, but, but you have autosomal as well? Yes. Okay. Yeah. All right. Let's, start so with let's, autosomal. let's look at that because that's um, most common. So yeah. you can see that um, it gives, it does give my ancestry uh, name. Um, and then it also gives, um, let's see, does, there's my Jed, Jed match kit number. Um, and of course, I'm a hundred percent to myself. Um, my mother had tested. Um, now, one thing I want to note with um, now parents should be 50%, but as you get into some of these other uh, relationships, um, it just gives a, a theoretical percentage based on the relationship right. that has been charted in WikiTree. And, and for other relatives I've had tested, do I need to make them separate accounts in the WikiTree? Right. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yes. So, so you would need to uh, invite them to WikiTree, and then they could they you can't upload their DNA uh, or their their GED match number. Um, they would have to do that themselves. But maybe you could sit by them and talk them through it. Yeah, difficult. <laughs> I'd have to do it on their behalf, but that's another story. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um. So, and then you can see with um, family tree, my my mitochondrial. Uh, it gives the haplogroup that's associated. It gives my kit number, and then uh, it gives my uh, ID uh, at Mito Y DNA. Um, and and th the whole point of this is for what? Are you providing matching services or something? I'm still see, not understanding to, what WikiTree is. Right to see who 
on Wikitree has also done DNA um, that matches with you. Okay. Um, so, for instance, uh, Stuart Red, I I do know him personally. He's my he. I know he's my second cousin, um, and that would be the three point one two percent would be. Oh, the, I see. Okay, it's generating theory. these matches for you. Got it. Yes. So yes. one of the benefits mm -hmm. of one of the benefits of identifying your cousins is that you can triangulate your DNA, and then. By cross-referencing, you know, the actual websites that host the DNA, you can see the relationships and you can confirm ancestors at that point. So I, I think triangulation is the biggest thing to be gained from knowing who your cousins are. And this allows us to see the cousins a lot more quicker than on an, another site. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. Steve, okay. Steven, do you have DNA? Have you? Uh, I uh, do. Yeah. Could we look at yours as a second example? I will. Uh, I can. Uh, yes, I, I will allow that. <laughs> Thank you. I don't uh, believe I, it's uh, you know, s super private or anything. Uh, there you are. You even popped up straight away. Gee, I wonder why. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is me. Yep. So uh, I have both. Uh, I have all three actually: Y, M, T, and uh, autosomal. Oh wow. Mm. Uh, and it's because my Y DNA line is heavily implying that I have Scots Irish ancestry. I'm able to better confirm who my fourth great grandfather is because I don't actually know who he is. But I know that through the Y DNA line, it has to be you know your father's father's father, etc. Um, so that's one example of, of how this is beneficial. And and let me ask: Is is Dolores Barker? Is she your first cousin? Or no, she, yes. Is she a first Negative. Cousin? She is my grandmother. Oh, she's your grandmother. Oh. Okay, right. Yes. Right. So the 25% is is the perfect hypothetical amount for a grandparent. It hypothetical. Might, we know it's not exact, but yeah, it might be 24 or 28. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that 25% makes sense because it's 50 to your parents. 25 to your grandparents. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. presumably 25 to your grandchildren. Right. Yes. Exactly. Reverse direction. Yeah. So um, may we may we take your grandmother and compare? Is that okay, Steve? Uh, sure. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh, okay. So I see. So you would. This is actually taking us to her Jed match number, mm. and then I see you would go on over to Jed match to do the comparison. Right, right. That's where you would put in the comparison. Yeah. Yeah. So then it would show oh, you the yeah. actual readout uh, of the uh, the chromosomes. Yeah. So the twenty three yeah. chromosomes would then be compared on that side. So yeah, we can't do that comparison on our end, but it will link to it a lot easier. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And, Thank you um, so much. Sure. Jim, just to show you, since, since you haven't added your DNA yet, it's very simple uh, what you would do here. I, I'm going to go back to my profile. So it does. So I there's no chance that I add DNA for you, Steve. Uh, but it's <laughs> sure under, you don't want to add any additional to me? <laughs> <laughs> um, it's under add. Well, it wouldn't add. work anyway, right? <laughs> you have to be logged in as me. Um, so DNA test information. So, you know, supposing I had um, I had some other DNA to add um, for what else? What else could I do? Um, I could have done. I could have done um, maybe oh, I did do full sequence. I'm trying to think what else. I, what other kind of test? Well, maybe maybe I decided to test a 23andMe. Oh, to to supplement my ancestry autosomal results. So what you would do is, is just go here, add new test information, and then you'll have a pull down menu oh, um, where you, you select what it is, you yep, add so the test, and then um, you would, uh, you know, if you want to add additional information, you can do that. What would happen if you actually select 23andMe? Is there additional queries that pop up? Let's see. So is it pulling it directly uh, or do you have to uh, download and upload? You you have to go, go to 23andMe um, and, and 
Well, yes, you'd have to download it so that you yeah. have it on your computer. Then you would upload it to Gedmatch. Okay. And then, and then fill that in here. Right. And that would generate your Gedmatch ID, which you would enter here. Oh, is Gedmatch um, just for all the thermal? No, no. Let's. I guess I thought it was. Why is it just out of Somal? You're you've got twenty three me selected here, but mm -hmm. why is Gedmatch there in that list? Well, Gedmatch is the the third third party portal where you would upload it. So, okay. Uh, yeah. Um, I can't. Uh, I can't show you like my matches. But I can show you what Gedmatch looks like. Um, so it's um, it's free. Um, there are um, levels. There's like a, a tier one or tier two membership that are paid, where you you get access to more tools. And you know, I, I think we're all used to like getting a one month subscription to newspapers.com and doing all our lookups. Um, I've been advised to do the same thing on Gedmatch. Um, just, you know, get the tools for a month so that um, I can compare. But I'll tell you, it's very straightforward. Um, it's not not difficult to upload your information. And has, has mm, I can do it. <laughs> a, anyone can, if you go slowly enough and read the instructions. I've never done it. Yeah. Um, oh, and Betsy, oh, by the way, um, yeah. speaking of... of uh, uh, Ancestry uh, DNA is now the lowest thirty nine dollars. If you want to do Ancestry DNA, I saw that for Mother's yeah. Day. That's yeah. nice. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Um, yeah, I forgot that. So here, um, Jim, I'm going to drop this in the chat. Um, there, you. there are quite a few help pages on DNA, but since since you haven't. Um, you know, Sounds like you need to get started. Oh, so. You have Azure Space on you. I do. Oh, well. well. <laughs> it's a shared <laughs> account. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> okay. So, so Betsy, uh, yeah. if I have Ancestry DNA right now, do I upload it? Do I upload my raw to G uh, to Drug Match? And yes. Then? Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. Right. Um, so you'll you'll be asked for for your GEDmatch ID number. And then you can also choose to give your ancestry a you know ID name. Yeah. Or the haplo group that appears yeah. with your DNA. Right. That's helpful right. because then you can compare other people's haplo groups. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So people have the same haplo group. Sorry. In, in summary, you're you're not uh, taking DNA di data directly into WikiTree. You're right. Uploading right. it to a third party and then yes. uh, indexing it by reference or something. Yeah. Which okay. is secure, by the way. Okay. Or at least as secure as Jed matches. As secure as the actual uh, Ancestry or, you know, other websites that you got the DNA from. <laughs> well, I've heard, I've heard things about Jed match that are not very encouraging. That's why I'm a little hesitant, but there you uh -huh. go. I see. Okay. Interesting. I, I know uh, all of the the people who are DNA uh, experts that I that I trust speak highly of of GEDmatch. Okay. Um, yeah. I'll give it a go. Thank okay. You. Yeah, me too. Yeah. And uh, yeah, as a free user, I mean, there are still plenty of resources mm -hmm. even if you're not paying into it. Yeah. Um, you know, you can still do a one-to-one -one match or or yeah. one-to-many match. And then uh, which is most people would I, do. I, Presume there's an option to upload your family tree as well. Is WikiTree a single tree like Family Searches is, or how does it work? Yes, yes, it is. Um, so let let me also say one thing. I I wish I could show you my GEDmatch page because um, you it would be a powerful demonstration, um, but I can't for privacy reasons um, of of my matches. But what you would see is that you can. Um, sort your matches by who is in WikiTree and who is and everybody else. Ooh. Okay. So, so that then, say you see a, a pretty close match on GEDmatch, you see they have a WikiTree profile, you can click right on their profile and oh. and start to That's try. That's new. I don't okay. remember that. Ooh. 
Oh, oh yeah. That's great. Ooh. When did I, they start doing that? Right. I hope uh, Wikitree users are a bit more responsive than my heritage or ancestry users. Oh, incredibly. Yeah, Okay, it, good. It's good. It's <laughs> and free. Um, so, right. Jim, if I might ask, um, are you are you brand brand new to WikiTree? Yes. Okay. All right. <laughs> well, yes, that, I, I, I was sent here and I wasn't sure why. So I'm just trying to figure out what it's all about. And coincidentally, okay. you had this QA like a few days after I signed up. So one wonderful. Okay. Well, this is a good start. Yeah. Um <laughs> Wow. So let let me just show you um and give you a, give you a just a a little tour. Mm -hmm. Okay. So so here's my profile um and you'll see at the top of um your profile so similar how many contributions you've made um people who have thanked you um for instance if you make a correction there's always an option um for people to thank you. And then this is your CC7 your connection, your connections within seven degrees. So you're zero to yourself. Um, your nuclear family, like your parents and siblings, uh, would be one children. Um, and then um, so on, you know, grandparents would be two. Um, and and it can go through marriage. So CC sevens can grow quite, quite large. Um and um then, uh, just just to go back, what exactly is a contribution? Is it oh, money? sure. Yeah. Um, so here is you know any any time you do something like uh, I I edited the biography here. Um, I I added a category to this. Oh, category. I see. Okay. Um, I I think a G two G post also. Mm. I let's see. I uploaded a photo. I don't think G2G counts in contributions, but oh. it adds to the number at G2G. No, it does. Look, May 6th. I answered because I oh. for wiki games. So Okay. Yeah. Uh, but that's that's on a space page. That's not within the G2G portal. No, no, it was on it was on G2G. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. All right. Anyway. Uh so yeah, it, it does count some of those as uh, contributions as well, then. But I'm still learning. But one thing nice about WikiTree better than family search is that uh, on WikiTree it's mainly for sources. Uh, it, that that is the number one thing is the sources, and and um, that's why I love WikiTree better than all the other ones because it plus is free and plus everybody contributes to, mm -hmm. to, everybody, I like to that everybody's too. help from all over the world. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, we have a much more defined community here than any other location. I mean, Genie and Family Search are other examples of world trees, but you can't run into a person if you have questions. There's no centralized area, you know, like a WikiTree team that you could tap ideas off of. Okay. Um, so, so a very big part is that we are talking right now. Like I know Betsy because I've been doing this thing for what, how many years now? <laughs> yeah, a year and a half, almost. Right, and, and we communicate outside of the wiki to make sure that we're on the same page, and then we we have these avenues, uh, like these Zoom meetings or, or Zoom calls, where we can talk about these things live. And and frankly, these other websites and communities, they, they just don't have anything like that in place. So I think that really sets us apart. Mm, okay. Good to know. Yeah. Are you all volunteers? Yes. Uh, yes. We're all volunteers. Yeah. There's, there's oh, a very my small, goodness. Small okay. core team. I don't um, get paid for this. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, but everyone here. Oh, thank you. Oh, I, I confess, when I saw contributions, I thought that was dollars. Oh, no. No, no, no. no. The perfect oh, world. <laughs> um, and um, you'll also see on my badges that I have like the Scotland project badge and the England project badge. So um, you can join um, projects that either have a geographical interest um, focus or, or maybe they're um, topical um, or, or func what we call functional. Um, for instance, I'm a mentor. So the mentor project um, involves, you know, working with people who might want a little extra help on WikiTree. Um, so those are really great ways to get to know a little core group of people who can be, you know, I, I, 
I, they're a great resource. Last night I was I was doing a little Scot Scottish project and uh, I had a question about a location and I got on Discord and I asked some people and it, it was funny because they answered my question about, about the location. And then there was also a, a nuance about the name, Elspeth versus Elizabeth. Yes. And, and when I woke up this morning, they were still going back and forth about <laughs> name, names that, you know, that are used for one another. I thought that was pretty funny, um, but wonderful. Yeah. And because it's international, we're seeing people that are up in Australia and Japan, you know, and just other places in the world. Um, my Germany project has a lot of people that wake up at 11 o'clock at night where I am and they can work on stuff up until the point that I wake up. Um, oh, wow. Really talking. good for... Uh, marathons as well when we're, we're doing these things called thons um you, you'll see people talk about that like you can actually see a, a badge here on uh, betsy's page called connectathon and that was a, a recent one that we just did where uh for 72 hours the entire wiki worked well you know people who signed up to the connectathon uh worked on connecting people into the wikis we added about a hundred thousand people and that's about the average number that we add every time we do one of those events wow Brief. And I, I guess the, the golden hope is that your tree overlaps with somebody else's, right? When you, oh, it will. Totally. Every day. Right. I mean, that's I, the idea I mean, behind a world tree. It's very exciting when, uh, you know, you'll you'll start out, you know, you'll add your parents and your grandparents. And and um, I strongly advise, you know, adding in siblings, too. And at some point, boom, the system is going to say, hey, we think this person is already on Wikitree. Oh, Okay. <laughs> You know, it's because we, yeah. we don't yeah. want duplicate. You're building your branch. Your branch will eventually reach out and connect into the world tree. Right. Okay. That's the hope. Right. That's, so that's the idea. Um, Go back far enough, you will. So you can see that I have 740 connections, um, but also I can look at my ancestors. So there, there's my 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 father's family is from Taiwan, and I haven't worked as much on that, but. Here's my maternal side. And if I were to uh, click on any of them, then I can look at their ancestors. Nice pictures. Oh, wait, they have a profile yes. page as well? Yes, yes. Everyone has a profile page. Right. Yes. Oh, so, okay. So not who, just the living people. Okay, who sets those up then? You, you would. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> or your cousins, depending on who, who got to it first. Right, right. Uh, if you remember, the I, I said my DNA match, Stuart, was my second cousin. And uh, here he is. He and I are, this is our uh, our shared most recent, you know, common ancestor. So we're co-managers of this profile. So, and it will also say, uh, you know, he's my, my second great grandfather. Um, let me go, let's see. To... Uh, uh, uh question if i wanted to upload somebody else's dna data either because they're deceased or in incompetent um do i do that under their profile that's come up Ooh. in my tree i have the same question so yeah. this is a wiki tree team thing and there's only certain exceptions where you mm, it's a wiki tree team i don't want to make any uh claims or statements regarding what they allow but generally you shouldn't generally okay. you can only upload dna for yourself when you're logged into your own account but again like you said in either incompetence or deceased situations that have dna that's something that you would have to have a conversation with one of them about because then they can unlock a page or they can do something special okay. I see. Okay. so look but i right don't want to make any promises yeah yep. this is on the dna faq page oh um, oh, there can, it is. There it is. They are yep. Can you enter a test for someone else? So only if they're deceased. If they're still living, they need to create their own account. You can help them manage their account, but they must agree to Wikitree's privacy, privacy policy and terms of service by registering here. Okay. Yeah. So Thank what you if, for clarifying what if that, Bessie. Mentally, oh. mental capacity. Uh, uh, I can I, find... I did I, my sister's and... Well, she's living. I'm not supposed to be doing it, I found out. So, mm -hmm. but when that time comes, if I'm still alive myself, mm -hmm. um, that's what I was worried about. 
I had two sisters and one has died now. She's mm. allowed there, but not. Well, at the very least, I mean, what you can do is if they don't have the DNA uh, test established yet, certainly establish it, you know, get it all set up on those third party sites. So then when said event happens, it's ready to go. That's okay. the best information I can say, you know, because if they're not able to work on Wikitree themselves by having a logged in account themselves, right. you would have to wait. You would just have to wait until that unfortunate day. Okay. Okay. Thanks. But at least yeah. you can get the pieces in place. Should I be taking her file off then? What should I do? Um, so her DNA? Is her DNA up? There? It's not her DNA. Like oh, it's oh. just her her profile. Yeah. Um so yes, we've had recent changes um to oh, the yes. policies. Yeah, for living people. Um, if you have her express permission and she she's unable to use a computer um herself and she's given you permission then yes that yes. yeah, then oh, yes okay. that's okay thank you yeah you're welcome mm -hmm. uh, it's, a, it's a tricky slippery slope sometimes yes well there's so, so so many possible scenarios right um and i i guess i just want to uh, show you one more thing. Let's see. Let me go to somebody in my... Oh, by the way, you will have a watch list, Jim, um, of all the profiles that you eventually create and or, or where you're on the trusted list. Oh, so, so you said these profiles you've created for these yes. people? Okay. Yes. Um, or where, I mean, they're mostly my creations or I'm on the trusted list. You may have taken over as a profile yeah. manager. Yeah, I may have adopted list. them. Um, so yeah. let me pick somebody where. Did you play a trusted list? What is that exactly? Oh, uh, the trusted list is if, um, if you're not the profile manager, um, being on the trusted list will allow you to make changes to the profile. Oh, I see. I see. Does that only apply to living people? Yeah. Yeah. Let me go to an example. Here's here's Ella Louise Burns, who is uh, deceased. And you can see over here on the right, this icon, which means that her profile is open. Okay. Which means would be, that... Would it be open to anybody, including me yes. or just you? Yes. Yeah. If oh, you, I see. Okay. If you had um, information with a source <laughs> that you wanted to add to her profile, you you could go right into edit mode and do any so. signed in member of WikiTree who has signed the honor code. Yeah. Okay. Edited. I see. I see. Okay. Yep. Not just yeah, anybody code, off the internet. Sorry. Just a simple set of questions to get on yes. to the honor code. Yes. Yeah, I've seen that. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Um. Yeah. And um, the other interesting thing, um, this comes through a browser extension called the, the Wikitree browser extension. Um, it shows me, I, I know that Ella Louise Burns is, is not, a, not, a, not a close relative for, for sure, um, but she is my ninth cousin, according oh, no. to Wikitree. She's 19 degrees away. Um, so if I want to see her connection to me, mm. Because you're 19. Because how did you do that? <laughs> um, how did I do that? Oh, Yeah, I have that too, but I don't know how to do that. Well, when you're on somebody's profile, mm -hmm. you go to the top and you see, oh, there's their ID. And in that pull-down menu, you'll see connection to me. Okay, thank you. Yeah, and then you get this. Now, the change in color means there's been a marriage. So between, here's a marriage between four and five. Everything else is genetic. Three, yeah, yeah, right. You can go to alternative view and visualize it. Mm -hmm. I don't like that one as well, but <laughs> we'll show uh, it. It depends on the size of your screen. Sometimes it's easier to visualize than others. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's going across and then at the thorns, it's jumping back in time. Uh, into the roses mm. and then eventually comes back through the Perkins. Yeah, I, I can see that that's, yeah. 
Oh, that's helpful. But but her actual genetic relationship is much farther than this because this is just the shortest distance to Eloise. Um, Betsy, could you go back to your other page because because what does it three two one mean? Oh, sure. Let me let me go back and first let me enlarge my screen again. Um, and now I will go back. Oh, yes, that's a, that's a really good question. So it refers to one, two, three. Then mm -hmm. we have the marriage, one, two. Oh, and then okay. 15. Mm -hmm. Good it's question. 15. Okay, okay. The 15 up and down, going back genetically. So, Jim, may I ask a question? Yes, of course, Jim. Um, thank you. Um, do you have to be connected to the tree to go in this degree thing? You are such a mind reader. I was just going to say that. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, okay. I was going to warn Jim, especially being being brand new, he may not be connected. Yes. Yeah. Uh, right. My, my tree may exist as an island. Yes. Uh, it's like a little Gray leaf breath. blowing in the wind. Right. <laughs> so I am um, I'm working on... Um, this this lady was was like a grandmother to me, but um, she's we're not related. And you can see, she, I've got this little icon here that tells me she's not connected. And I'm I'm oh. working. I have her her little floating branch has about seventeen people now, but I haven't connected yet. So yeah. and the bottom of the page also would indicate that too, because usually if you're connected into the tree, it'll show the connection finder to famous people that we're featuring uh, oh, if that doesn't show up then you'll you'll understand that they're not connected oh i didn't know that right well you probably you probably been connect connected for so long and that you're used to seeing um so. and there's just so much stuff you know that gets <laughs> you know, we have a lot of stuff here right oh, look yeah. at all your comments <laughs> i know i should maybe tidy those up um, I'm trying to get down to the list to show everybody. Yeah. Oh, there it. we go. Oh, there okay. is. Oh, oh, look at that. that. Oh, Olivia newton John, Celine Dion. The notables. I love the notables. Right. They're all wow. foodies. Wait a minute. These aren't foodies. These are moms with, they need, this needs uh, to. Uh-oh, we found a thing that needs to get updated. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Small oh, little error. Foodies is not foodies. <laughs> right. These are Euro Eurovision like moms. Those That's are Eurovision. mothers. Um, I wonder if it's because of it's not updating with this version of the script. Because you're you're using the browser extension to view it this way, right? Yes. Yeah, and, and mine looks different, which I think actually does say uh, your vision moms. Vision on. Okay, I good. Think. Then I'm not going to worry about sending a revision. Sending a new it might one. be, yeah, it needs to update or something in order to okay. see that change. I'm only 19 from Sion. Wow. I'm going to check mine really quick. Yeah. Oh. Well, it's, well, it's because of my French connection. I have lots of people in. Oh, in very nice. Yeah. Oh, that's weird. No, it oh. says this week's theme, foodies, and then the text featured Eurovision connections. So Whoa. it's an error that needs to be corrected on Wikitree's side because they're not foodies. <laughs> right. I mean, maybe okay. they are foodies, but they're not yeah, explicitly I mean, foodies. Yes. I, right. guess, I guess that prompts another newbie question. Who runs this site and how is it paid for? Okay. Um, so uh, Wikitree is um, 16 years old now. Um, oh, wow. And um, it was founded by Chris Witten, um, who had, had a background himself in, in other wiki websites um it is paid paid for by advertisements that that the people who have not signed the honor code see oh. so um there's there's get being a guest member or a family member and at those two levels you do see like ads for ancestry or ads for my heritage um but once you sign the honors honor code you don't see any ads okay yeah um, Jim and and I think I well actually I don't know Matt. Hello Matt, welcome. Yeah. <laughs> what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop my. This is my profile ID. Um, and, and I'll drop mine. Yep, and Steve. Um, and feel free to send 
a private message to to either of us with questions. Um, and we do have um, uh, Stephen. Stephen was mentioning the thons. Um, we have a a team for newts, people who are new to WikiTree. Oh, okay. With, you know, with lots of extra support and it's, you know, we, we don't worry about, you know, scoring high. We just learn about, you know, connecting with others and, and learning a few things and feeling like comfortable with WikiTree. So oh. uh, Jerry was on the team last month. So mm -hmm. uh, great experience. Uh, Betsy, why don't you show him what's going on in May? May. That is a great idea. Thanks. Oh I, oh, I never thought that way. I, oh, I, don't hello, good, I don't look as good as oh. my picture. <laughs> I just realized the video was off. <laughs> oh, that, that's all right. That's all right. Sorry about that. Let's see. Okay. Um, G2G feed. There you go. I think, I think I paid no. This is yeah. our genealogist, the genealogist forum, also known as G2G. And this oh. actually runs on a separate software than the wiki itself, but I mean, they're interconnected enough that we can float back and forth. There you go, that's what's going on. And, and are we, for the sake of argument, are we all considered genealogists on this site? Yes. Oh, you, okay. Once you sign the honor code, yes, you you are a wiki genealogist. Oh, I see, okay. Uh, <laughs> and here, let me- Even if it's uh, adding your parents. Link in the chat. And this is a great way to keep up with, um, challenges there's a section for um the challenges and then also well these are month-long events and ongoing events as you can see wiki triers are never bored <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll say. yeah really <laughs> how many people are on this site uh one, one million million one hundred yeah a yeah. million okay one million yep yeah we crossed a million last year and wow. uh, on our 15th anniversary it's on yeah it's on the front page it's on the home page okay so if i go i um for when when you're new i can um recommend highly enough to subscribe to our youtube channel um because there's there's a lot of knowledge to be gained there um there's there's at least i think one live cast a day and it's a great way to to sort of figure out where your where your little niche in WikiTree might be. So, okay. Yeah. Yes. I'll go ahead and put that in the chat. It, you know, funny thing, Betsy. I know that you came in late. I kind of came in late. We didn't get a way to. We didn't properly introduce ourselves. You oh, know, oh we never actually goodness. talked about like where we come from or what we do. Right. Huh. Betsy, sure. what do you? <laughs> Sorry to put you on the spot. Yeah, no, it's all right. Um, I'm Betsy Coe, and I've been on Wikitree for five years. Um, outside of Wikitree, I'm a musician and teacher, um, and that's why Steve said live from South Bend. I'm um, in South Bend for the weekend with my students who are doing a chamber music competition. Oh, wow. Uh, Ooh. And... Uh, <laughs> I, uh, you saw a couple of the projects that I'm involved on on Wikitree. Um, I have uh, heritage in England, Scotland, Canada, um, Wales. So I'm involved in those in those projects, and I do a lot with uh, with education and t teaching and events. Nice. Uh, yeah. And then me. Well, I, I've been a member since 2020, but I have been editing wiki since 2004. Four, 2005, wow. uh, long before Wikitree was in existence. I'm actually a Wiki founder. Uh, and I found that Wikitree was the perfect marriage of my existing interest and my love of family history and genealogy. So, it, you know, it just worked so well when I got here and quickly climbed the echelons to, well, now I'm hanging out with you guys on these, you know, these live calls, right? <laughs> um, Thank you. Now you're on the flight deck. On the flight deck of my Star Destroyer, yes. <laughs> and I, uh, and because I'm uh, very, uh, my ancestry is largely German, naturally I gravitated to all my German ha heritage and ancestry. So I'm a member of Germany Project. Uh, I'm also a member of Notables Project. So I, I have several profiles that are Notables that I, I watch over, uh, in particular to, you know, some of my interests. 
Uh, and uh, I also have taken the task of the being the leader of the new Tanzania project, which uh, ooh, ooh. I don't know much Swahili, and I'm probably going to need someone who speaks Swahili to help me translate some sources. Uh, so that's that's a new challenge that I'm taking on because uh, I do have some interest in that country and I've been there before. Uh, so we'll, we'll see where it goes with that. Uh, but yeah, literally the sky is the limit. You know, you can research about anything you want. Uh, the free space pages are a open uh, place for you to put your research out there and other people can read it. And maybe you'll find a cousin that wants to help contribute and uh, work on that with you as well, you know? So, uh, so yeah, hopefully it gives you some background on us. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. um if if you guys get time to do a free space page or those ones where you have the square boxes i can't remember the name of them table please yeah um, well we could um we do have to wrap up i know that but, but sometimes we, we could I have a little like bit of free time up. after the recording is over yeah oh no that's okay <laughs> thank you though Okay. Yeah, well, free space, yeah, free space pages um, are, are, you had mentioned those to me, and that's a good topic, so we could look at that. Can I okay, share one really super. quick? I mean, I can get one ready to go right now. Okay, um, can can we um, sign up? We'll make that an after hours thing. Okay, okay, I'll stick around after hours. Bessie yeah, will and, support. And promise to do that next time, but Steve will, uh, so... Our next new member Zoom, uh, we always do the second Thursday of each month and the first, I'm sorry, the last Sunday, the last Sunday morning. And I want to give you one more page that will be really helpful, um, which is the new member Zoom. Here's a, here's a free space page. If you don't oh, yeah. know what I'm talking about. Here is our, um, this is our, our landing page for all the information about these sessions. Oh. So you can find the Zoom links there and the schedule. Um, so. Thank you. So, yeah. So can I come to another one or is that it? Uh, no, come to as many <laughs> as you oh, okay. Okay. We, we love We love repeat attenders. I'll try not to ask the same questions all over again. Yeah, no, no, that's fine. And, you know, we just like to emphasize um, no question is too elementary. You know? There are no dumb questions. That's Only dumb we... answers, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I might provide a wishy-washy answer. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thank well, you. Well, thank you. Thank you, Steve and Betsy for your time. I appreciate it. Yeah, that. no yes. problem. Yeah, thank Very you. You're welcome. All right. Take care. Yeah, you too. Sleep well and good luck. With, do I say good luck with your concert? Sure. Thank you. <laughs>